Hello everybody, my name is Belicht. This is Loot Dependency Zero No Trader Challenge. Welcome back to the scavenger. Last night I realized something. Because we are playing No Trader and we are not doing any jobs, the POIs are not getting reset. Which means that eventually all the POIs in this town is gonna get emptied by us. So I think it's a good idea for us to mark the POIs that we have already done. So that it's gonna be more organized and clean, which is why I marked as much as I could last night. This uh, D stands for done. So we have done this POIs. Today, let's go ahead and uh, explore some more town. I would like to check out this construction site right there. I wonder if it's connected to the bear then or not. If it's, then let's not do that. If it's not, then just check it out. And then let's go to that direction and see what the heck is up there. <laughs> and also last night I've been hunted by these few zombos. Man, just leave me alone, man. All right, let's go ahead and uh, have some breakfast. You know, our beloved uh, burnt meat and also dirty water. Uh, probably let's end up eating all this uh, burnt meat. Now I'm getting quite thirsty. Let's drink some dirty water. Yeah, probably we are going to be getting uh, dysentery, but uh, we have accepted our fate. <laughs> so far, no dysentery. Are you telling me that we're not going to be getting dysentery at all? Nope. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there you go. Again, we got another dysentery. It, it, it kind of stacks. All right, I think we should be good. So uh, you guys told me that I wasn't using the uh, animal tracker. I mean, when I uh, crouch down, if there's any animal detected, it is, it will be available on the minimap on the top. So we will do that later. But for now, let's get the hell out of here, man. This POI is uh, zero tier. Holy shit. What the heck, man? Make some noise. God damn it. I do not have any... Uh, First aid bandage or med kit. Last night I used my one last remaining med kit. Oh, five nails. Almost forgot. Almost forgot. HG loot abundance zero. All right, loot abundance is zero. We are not going to loot this. Let's just drop this. Every time we start the game, <laughs> we got to set the loot abundance to zero. And because, you know, I foreseen this issue. We could forget about the loot abundance. That is why I also set the uh, normal loot to 25% to mitigate and lower the risk of us messing up. All right, seven hour park, not going there. We're not going to find anything. Let us proceed here. Is this a POI? Buster driver as well. I mean, we're not going to be finding anything here as well. Nope. We kind of need a tiered POI for us to at least loot the main stash. Nothing in there. Is this tier POI and no power distribution site? Let us uh, mark. Oh, hello, Mo. Where the heck did you guys come from? Let's just get the hell out of here, man. Don't want to fight them. How about this blue house right here? McAlvin residence. Let's do this, man. I know this. Oh, morning, lady. Man, I'm kind of loving this uh, pipe baton. Not sure why, but this pipe weapon and, you know, the pipe baton and stun baton might be my favorite weapon. Okay, let's get in. Oh, there's one zombie right there. She's dead. There could be a dog here. The last time I did this, there was a dog. Ah, oh, man, I should have brought my shovel. We could get those cements and scrap them from for some stone. When we are doing POIs, uh, we need to do tier 1 or 2 POIs. That's for sure. Uh, we cannot really do tier 3 POIs. I mean, we can, but uh, we cannot really loot the main stash of those POIs. Because we don't have any lockpicks. And I don't want to beat through the uh, main stash with my stone axe. 
Can I get my arrow back? Nope. Alright, let's deal with this zombies outside. There's some bookshelves right there. And speaking of bookshelves, I actually forgot to spend my points, so let us do that soon. Oh! Man, I'm loving this pipe a ton, not gonna lie, man. It feels kind of satisfying. Hello? God damn it. Alright, it's fine. You do your thing and I will do my thing right here. Let's search this bookcase. Miner's book adds small chance to harvest many rare gems, which not gonna be helpful. Alright, let us spend that point. We do have uh, one point. I'm gonna put that into fortitude right away. Let us try to make the fortitude level 5 so that we can... Make the Iron God to level 3. And we can also max out the living off the land with only Fortitude level 5. So this is good. And also we can put some points into uh, Huntsman when the Fortitude is level 5. So that's going to be our game plan, man. And uh, beyond that, we are not going to be investing into Fortitude anymore. I want to go to other perks. Hello! Oh, waking up some more zombos. Maybe I should have uh, put some hatch in somewhere. Is this a good idea? Nope, it wasn't a good idea. Close that door. We gotta. We just gotta tank this. God damn it! Shit, man. Lost so much HP. How many zombos there? Almost messed up, man. There we go. Let's deal with this uh, lady. <laughs> God damn it, man. We just leveled up. Let's put that point to use right away. Fortitude. There we go. My God. Guys, can you guys please leave me alone, man? For some reason, there's just too many zombies around, man. Man, hopefully we get some... Uh, <laughs> First aid bandage or med kit from the main stash or at least a little bit food from this POI. I wonder if we can find some pipe. Hey, there's the uh, main stash room. I know that. Let's go here if there's anything. Nope. Not gonna find anything here, right? Nope. Let's put down hatch right here. Open it up. Medical supplies is gonna be empty. No need to. Oh. Hello, you guys. Oh shit. No, you don't. Close that. Just in case. Two down. Three down. As I remember, there's one Zombo behind this. Hey! Zombo, I know you are here. Look this. Mo. 10% more damage at night. Nice. And there was some food. Let's go back here. Let's eat that food. Man, we found the weighted head mod. This is gonna be good, man. Ooh, loot back! Loot back! Alright, the loot dependency. You know, the loot bags doesn't get affected by the loot dependency. And loot bags could contain water and also some dukes. Those are the things that we are looking for and also duct tapes. So, seven days to die, God, please bless us. Oh, guys, you have no idea how happy I am to see these dukes, man. So here's the thing. One bottle of water costs 140 dukes in vending machines. So with this, we can buy two bottles of water. Which means total, we are now have four bottles of water, which means we can craft glue. Man, <laughs> I'm so freaking happy. God damn it. Nice, nice. Woo. Now, all we need to do now is uh, find one piece of um, Forge Ahead books because so far we haven't found any. Oh, speaking of stun buttons. There we go. We got ourselves a stun button. Man, what a great day, man. 
Except the uh, poopy pants. Ooh, things are looking great today. Holy crap. Nice, man. Ooh, another pipe, but <laughs> I'll take that. If one breaks, then we can use the other one. We haven't found any pipes to harvest. All right, man, let's get the hell out of here. This was super good, great POI. Let's mark this. E. Let's go around the town, search for some mailboxes and try to find one piece of forge head book, man. Where is it? Yep, we just only need one book to craft the do collector. So let's try to do that. And also, let's try to find some uh, winding machine for us to buy that uh, water. There was uh, one winding machine at, across our home, but unfortunately the drinks winding machine wasn't working. All right, let's uh, check out this tree house. I know there's uh, one zombo right up there. Yep. Get back down, and there should be a pile of books inside. Ah, there's a food pile here. Nothing to loot. We gotta keep an eye on our uh, food and water issue. God damn it, man. I am so happy that we have found that. Dukes, man. All, all we need to do is find one piece of Forge Ahead book and a vending machine. Can we, you know, can we find those and achieve this those objectives in this... Uh, episode we'll see man let's try let's try let's try prioritizing finding some books the dollhouse i am gonna come back to this dollhouse later actually actually let's grab the uh, main stash right away and get the hell out of there we could do that let's climb up and the main stash is there Yep, there should be one Zombo. Let's take care of the Zombo without making any noise, if we can. No Zombo. Holy shit, no Zombo. Okay, let's loot this. Nerd gloves. Oh, first aid bandage. Thank you. I'll take that. I don't think the passing gas uh, shipping crate contains forge head books. But let's just get this. Any tool, two oil, yep. And not gonna search those because we're not gonna get anything. So this dollhouse also contains a bunch of uh, horns and yaka that we can harvest. But I'm kind of waiting to max out the living off the land before I go harvesting them. So that we just gain or gather or harvest more, you know. Hey, wait a second. Is there a pipe in there for us to harvest? I don't think we get pipes from here, right? Let's just... Yeah, there could be pipes there, man. Let's take this guy down. There we go. Not gonna harvest anything. There was pipes here. Oh, let's do some butt shot. Wake up, <laughs> Onza. There you go. He's down. There's a lady right there. She's down. Uh, there were no pipes, but I wonder if I get pipes from here. Oh, hello. All right, let's uh, try to harvest this. Does this give us a pipe or no? Nope. Stop you, rabbit. Oh. The pipe pistol is actually kind of good for uh, hunting small games, man. They're too weak to deal with the zombos. But man, they can deal with some chickens and <laughs> rabbits. Let's get all this wood. This is a very good source of wood. Uh, let's check out this construction POI. I wonder if there's a vending machine here. There, there could be a very high possibility. Garage construction. One tier POI. This is pretty small POI. Let's do this. Carefully. Let's wait for our 
stamina to regen a little bit. There's a working stiff tool crate right there. Let's wake Bo up. Holy shit, there's freaking Kramer. Why does this construction POI has a freaking screamer? Let's quietly deal with these zombos. Please one shot. I do have one iron arrow. Let's change. Oh, there we go. Screamer is down. The floor doesn't give, right? Hopefully. I know there's going to be zombos down there with some main loot. Let's get this working steel tool crate. Oh. Let's finish this POI. Alright, man. What do we have here? Come on, give me some food, man. 20% uh, more arrows. That's good. Commando helmet. Stun resist. Medium armor. Mm, sewing kit. That's great. And first aid bandage. All right, all right. Man, what a great episode is this, man. We're finding all the necessary stuff that we can. God damn it. Wait, why am I searching these again? Not gonna find anything. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Holy shit. Now, let's focus, focus. Now we can craft the Adu Collector 100%. Nerd gloves, intellect weapon damage. Yep, I'll take that. What is this? The Happy Sleep Motel. This could have a ending machine. Man, let's go back home, man. Let's get back home, eat some stuff, drink some stuff, and come back here. We're kind of getting hungry. Armored up book. I'll take that. Use one bandage. Perfect. And let's heal one more. There we go. Now we should go back to full. Vending machine, vending machine, vending machine. We gotta find one. Is that a vending machine? Up there? Quite possibly be, right? I don't wanna also go from the front. Let's just go from the back and uh, build some building blocks. Boost ourselves up. Hello? Ash, no need. Let's, let's just sneak. We're just here to check this vending machine. Please be working and please be selling some water. No. This doesn't work, but this works. But I don't really need anything from here. Alright, it's okay. I don't think there's another vending machine in this PY. Maybe, maybe not. But uh, let's look for some other vending machine. Any possible POI that might possibly contain vending machine. Shotgun Messiah. I don't think this has a vending machine inside. It's tier 4 POI. Definitely not doing that. There could be a vending machine. The main stash is actually there. Nah. <laughs> I thought about just snatching the main stash, but let's, let's be focused here, man. Let us... Uh, have our priorities correct. Go here and maybe visit around this town of the area and hope that there's a vending machine. I mean, there was a trader in this town, but again, because we are playing no trader, we are not gonna visit the trader at all. And yes, the trader has vending machine, but we are not gonna be, you know, entering the POI of traders at all. That That's the rule, man. I don't think we have checked that place out that looks a uh, vending machine worthy POI. Oh, there's the vending machines. Let's hope that they work, man. Come on, please. Ah, what a bummer. All right, this vending machine doesn't work. It's fine. Let's uh, go to this other direction and hopefully we find some other vending machines, man. I wonder what POI is that? That looks uh, vending machine worthy POI as well. Hey, there's another hotel right here. Definitely there's gonna be vending machine. Like, no doubt about it. Oh yeah, look at that. Let's bust through this. Nick's Motel. 
Come on, Nick. Ah, that uh, drink vending machine doesn't seem to be working, man. I need drink. Holy shit. Oh, mate. Wait, it is working. I woke up some zombos. But let's deal with them. Holy crap. How many zombos are there? There you go. One down. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. One more. There we go. Holy crap. Okay. That vending machine was working. There's some zombies right there. All right. Seven days to die. God. Give me some water. I do have my dukes. Restock on day four. Okay. It uh, restocks on day four. Let's uh, save this ding machine. Tomorrow we'll come back. Now we know it restocks on day four. Oh my god. There's a freaking dog. I'm out of here. Holy shit. I'm getting chased by a bunch of zombos. It's getting night. I mean, it's getting late. Maybe it's a good idea for us to go back home. There is one stuff right there, which I don't know what what is that. I think our hunger and the water is okay. So let us freaking go ahead and uh, take a look at what the heck is there. Just real quick. Truck stop. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a vending machine right there. But uh, we've seen enough. Tomorrow we could check that place out. But for now, let's get back home. I don't want to be wandering around the streets uh, when the when it's night time and the zombies are sprinting and we're having some stamina issues. That's not going to be a good idea, man. Here, let me uh, quickly check if there's a pipes here. Waking up some zombies. Hey, man. I'm just going to pass through. Oh, there's a working stiff tool crate right here. Uh, let's take that. Unfortunately, I don't see any pipes for us to harvest. But uh, we'll find some pipes, man. Should be no problem. Digest tool. Yep, I'll read that and get the oil. And that's about it here. Alright, man. I think I'm going to be ending the episode right here tomorrow. Let's check out that vending machine and see if it's uh, selling some water. If that's the case, then we're going to be buying two water. And finally, we can have the four duct tape that is needed to craft the dew collector. But however, we also need to find some pipes, which uh, we'll do that tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a great day and peace.